Hey there, thanks for tuning in to this One Cool Thing podcast on how to use the Canvas Teacher app to speed up your grading. The Canvas Teacher app is one of the three Canvas apps for teacher, student, and parent. Um, in order to do this grading on the Teacher app, you would need to have an iPad. Uh, I'm using an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, but you can also do this without an Apple Pencil. You could be using a stylus, which might help with some of the writing, or you could even be doing it with your finger. So I'll kind of explain that. So once you've downloaded the teacher app, you will need to set up your school canvas account, going to the, our school canvas, uh, URL and logging in with your own account. Once you log on, you will see your dashboard similar to what you see on the web page. Um, you can, if you have your grading to do, uh, you'll see down here at the bottom, the little to do list. But um, for me, because I have all these sample classes and all sorts of different things, the easiest is going to be for me just to go to my anatomy physiology class. So here you'll see my kind of overall organization. Uh, you could then go to assignments and so on. But for me, I'm going to go to modules. I've been organizing my course into weekly modules and kind of breaking down roughly how they should be spending their week. Um, and so here I have um, one of the assignments I've recently had students do is to create an essential uh, learning outcome sketch note. So each week I have an essential learning outcome and this week I was asking them to do a little sketch note, a little diagram um, demonstrating their understanding of this week's essential weekly outcome, which is linked there. So to do the grading, I just click here on needs grading and then I can open up uh, my student submissions and um, I had students submit for this a PDF so if I click on it it will open up the PDF and you can see I'm gonna just kind of scroll through I can get a variety of different types so this student did a looks like he used a, a Google uh, slide uh, the student did something a little more basic there's kind of no rules here for how they, they could do it. This one has a little less detail. This one has a whole lot of detail. So for grading it, you can see up here at the top, there are all these different annotation tools. If I click on this, um, right now I have the, I'm using my Apple Pencil. If I uncheck this, now my finger becomes the annotation. So I can click on the little pencil and I just did that with my finger. Uh, if I come back up here, um, and deselect that. That's with the pencil. So writing is easier, obviously, with the pencil than but with your hand, but I could also be using the stylus. Uh, I have the ability to highlight, insert comment boxes. Um, so if this was like a, a paper, I could be giving a lot of feedback, like I would be writing by hand. I also have the ability to click undo, and I can make everything I just wrote disappear, okay? Um, which is all really nice. I can also use text box. And then if I come down here to the bottom and pull this up, I have the ability to just do a little slider scale um, to give the grade. I can hit uh, comments. I can type in a comment. I can also click on this little plus button and I can record an audio or video. So I could give auditory or video feedback to the student um, and then hit done. I can pull that down, make that go away. And then all I got to do is hit done and that student is graded. Uh, and then I can do the next one uh, and so on. Now, uh, I have often had students turn in Google Docs. Um, and when I've had students turn in Google Docs, um, that does not lend itself very well to, to the grading. Um, so if I open up a student's work, um, now I will be able to see the Google Doc, but you'll notice that it has now taken me to that student's Google Doc, and now I can't really use the annotation. Now I could be using uh, the comment feature to be commenting on it, but if you want students, if you are having students do something in Google Docs, and you want them to turn that in, and you want to be able to give this annotated feedback, then you need to make sure that they are downloading it and submitting it as, say, a PDF. Um, and you can restrict the file type so that they can only submit that file type. So think about that if 
that's something you want to do. And then the last thing I'll just share um, is that another thing that you can do is have students, you can even grade video submissions. So I've been having students do video submissions from their notes. So we did a little lecture on intro to anatomy physiology. I have, I've always had students write a summary at the end of their, uh, of their notes where they have to relate what they just learned, things they've learned and review and summarize what the lecture was about and answer the essential question of the lecture uh, and use the vocabulary. So uh, in remote teaching, I'm having my students continue to do that. And then I'm having them record a video of them reading the relate and review so that um, I can see their work that they did and I can have, uh, I can hear what they are understanding and give feedback and have them understand, uh, have practice in reading it out loud. Hi, so these are my notes and this is my relate and review. The study of the human body is split into anatomy and physiology, which is the study of the structure versus the study of the function of the body parts. The levels of structural or... So I love that you can have Flipgrid linked with Canvas. I can have them do this in Flipgrid. It shows up in my speed grader and then I can give the feedback. Again, I can come down here. I can give her the credit. I can give comments if I need to. Um, and then I can even then scroll by swiping to the right to the next one. Um, so just some really neat ways to be using uh, Canvas Speed Grader on an iPad using the Canvas Teacher app. So play around with it. I think you'll find that if you're one who likes to write and give feedback for students, this is a fantastic way to go about doing that. So thanks for watching.